Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have a truck like none other. This is an SCA Performance Black Widow. What that means is, is that this truck started off life as a regular Silverado RST trim, went to the folks at SCA Performance, and it rolled out of their facility as the Black Widow. Now remember, new for 2019 was the truck redesign the Silverado redesign some people loved it some people hated it. people were arm wrestling thumb wrestling mud wrestling about whether the truck was going in the right direction or not you know what I think at the end of the day most people said hey it looks good functions well let's just go with it and SCA performance definitely has raised the bar with this Black Widow so let's go ahead and dive into this Black Widow and check it out right off the bat this color perfect color for the Silverado what some of the debate was about with the redesign was the front fascia area. What I liked about it is that it's actually functional. It's a side air curtain, helps channel air. The faux carbon fiber inside the headlight housing actually kind of looks tasteful. One thing that SCA Performance does is, is they actually take the bow tie off and they wrap the bow tie in the same color as the body. So that's something unique to SCA Performance compared to any of the other truck custom, uh, customization companies. Now, I do like the way that Chevy brings in the color into the center part of the grill, and I also like the blacked out horizontal slots. Now, as we drop down, this is where we're gonna see that SCA official six inch lift that they do. You have massive tow hooks at the front, the fog lamps. I'm surprised that they kept this plastic air dam piece if we're trying to get maximum space between the underside of the truck and the ground but still very very aggressive now one of my favorite things we're going to see in a second here the hood this hood has been customized by sca performance they actually put functional heat extractors so those black plastic areas are functional heat extractors to drag heat from underneath the hood we come around the bend remember new for 2019 on a chevrolet we have a nice round fender flare remember it used to be kind of squared off. So that's something new, but I like how they're bolt on and I love the color match. We drop down and these are Black Widow specific 20 inch wheels. You can see that nice gloss black, machined aluminum. I'm zonking these, even though they look good from a distance, like a 50 footer type of distance, these aluminum covers they put over the calipers, just put a better caliper there, some better braking capability, but it does say the SCA performance name there. And there's the Black Widow badge, which is really nice. You can see all the inner workings because the, tr the truck has been raised. Look at all the extra workings that SCA has done to raise the truck. Obviously, you're going to get a full four-wheel laser alignment. Speedometer has been recalibrated, all that good stuff. The proper spacers have been used. The knuckles have been uh, moved around and everything with the suspension to give you this kind of fit and finish. I like the Z71 off-road package badge that sits there. You got your Black Widow badge, probably one of the coolest badges in the car industry. This is where I think they went smart. They just went gloss black on the mirror instead of chrome. You have your uh, fixed running boards. Even with the Black Widow uh, located on each of the places where you step. And I also like the way it goes all the way to the rear. So if you need something from the bed of the truck, you can easily get to it. You can see those beautiful fender flares, all the inner workings of the rear suspension, the drop brackets to drop that differential because of the extra height. And then as we wrap around out back, really, really clean. They didn't do too much of anything, but they have the RST badge. There's your SCA badge. I would have liked to have seen the Black Widow right here, smack dab in the center. Get rid of the Silverado nameplate. Blacked out on the exhaust outlets. Of course, you have that standard factory rear bumper that gives you plenty of space, even with the thickest. Even Santa Claus with his boots could put it in that spot to get into the bed of the truck. With the off-road package, you're getting the full towing capability. All your mounting points are very nice up and high and out of the way. We open up the back. It's got that nice soft release. Here we go. On cue, almost. And then you have of course, the rear bed, the rear bed on the Silverados is, a, is a put together in a different way to where now there's actually more interior space. You have your LED lighting, power source, full bed lining, and that power sliding rear glass windows nice. Also, Silverados 
weigh about 250 pounds less because all swinging material like this bed is made out of aluminum instead of steel. But why don't we go ahead, pop the hood and see what's powering this Black Widow. All right, guys, we open up the hood. Like I was telling you, you can see at the back corners of the hood, those are functional heat extractors and they're not just stick on Pep Boy specials that SCA Performance adds on. They actually draw heat from underneath the hood. What's underneath this hood is that 5.3 liter Vortec V8, 355 horsepower. It's all mated to an eight speed automatic. Of course, this is a four by four. I mean, that's the whole nature of the beast with the Z71 package. But I think many would say, how about how come there's no 6.2? Well, guess what? That you could actually option that in there. They were trying to keep the price point at a certain location. But why don't we go ahead? Let's go ahead and fire up this Black Widow and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, I'm 50 feet off the ground. I'm inside the SCA Performance Black Widow. I know you're at that point. You've been dying to know what is the MSRP of this. The MSRP of this one, the way it sits, is right around $72,000. Let's see what you get to, for the money. Now, to the door panels, it's all pretty much standard Silverado affair, except for the gloss black that is on the door handle pull there. That does add a nice little extra touch, but still a very bland door panel. Large pocket though down below. You could put a Subway 12 inch sub down there with no issues and a super big gulp. Um, so there's lots of room. Same dash, hard material here. It's a little softer there. You get the dual glove boxes. I wish they would have done something by putting Black Widow. Or how about changing out the silver trim around the AC vents? I don't think that matches because of all the gloss black. The gloss black looks here in the center stack. You got your infotainment system. Not really the greatest, but you know, it works pretty well. You got all your AC controls in there. It's very fast reacting. We got cameras out the, out the back there. You could do your trailer line for your hitch. We could look down so you could actually see the hitch as you're backing it up. One dead button. The rest of this is very dated. One of these decades, Chevrolet and General Motors is gonna update their infotainment system center area here. Push button start. You got all your toggle switches for all your different functions dual climate control which is nice to see and then connectivity out the wazoo this is what i like to see home power 12 volt usb usb c no wireless charging though and no nice black widow lid wouldn't that have been cool if there was a lid a cover with a black widow and it looked like it was about to bite you and spit venom in you that'd be pretty crazy standard key fob another missed opportunity for some little black widowness but here's more of that silver trim, zonking it. Gloss black, silver, no. Gloss black, the whole thing. Go one way or the other. I do like the side pockets though, for all sorts of long objects that are kind of thin, maybe a pen, maybe a pencil, maybe a highlighter, maybe a marker, maybe a, just a piece of wood that you found on the side of the road. Same armrest, another missed opportunity. We open up, it is large. You could fit a lot of tarantulas in here. If you had a sack of about 25 tarantulas, they would fit in there. USB, USB-C, and an aux jack. Closer up, seats. Love the stitch work, love the embroidery that they add by Black Widow. Nicely done, it's got the hourglass, that's how you know if it's a Black Widow or not. And then, nice texture material. The seats aren't perfect, um, but as you drive, they actually get a little bit more comfortable. Plenty of headroom in here, but there's no sunroof at $72,000. That seems like to me like something that should have been there. But why don't you get behind the wheel of this Black Widow so I can show you what's different. All right guys, business end. You got your power assist for the driver's seat, which is a really nice touch, easy to get to. Steering wheel is your standard Chevrolet Silverado steering wheel. What I do like though is check out the gauges. SCA went ahead and made some nice modifications with the instrumentation. Just the little touches, these little things that add up to a big difference. I wish they would have done something with the shift lever. Maybe some of that gloss black, maybe some aluminum, maybe even a spider there that shifted for you. I don't know. I am going to zonk that. It's just so plastic. It's just terrible to, to even touch or even look at. I don't even want to look at it. But why don't we go ahead, check out the back seat and see what's different. 
All right, guys, back seat time. Plenty of space in here. No matter what full size truck you go with, there's more room than your great, 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 great grandfather's pickup truck. I guarantee you that. There's not a bench seat in here. What I do love about the GMs is that bad boy right there. It's got the optional storage in the backs of the seats. And I love, can't see anymore, I love the stitch work. Very, very nicely done. Armrest, you just gotta use a little oomph. Comes down, two cup holders, which is really nice. Put it back, little command center, just not very sexy looking. The, the instrumentation looks great. This rear AC, it works, it's just bland. USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt. So I'm happy to see all that. Two places for some cup holders. Nice little pocket area if you have a tarantula you need to hold on to in the back. I wouldn't hold on to a Black Widow. You're probably not gonna make it very, very long, but comfortable back here. Let's go ahead and take this Black Widow for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 SCA Performance. I feel like I'm driving on top of a mountain. That's how high this thing sits as you're going down the road. But you know what? It feels pretty good. I have to admit, it's a very unique driving experience. Just like going from driving a thousand horsepower Hennessy Exorcist to driving this SCA Performance, they each have their unique personality and kind of cool to see what companies are doing when they take your standard Silverado and throw what they know at it to create this truck known as the Black Widow. But I think color combo wise, the truck works for me. Would I go and spend my money on it personally? No. Uh, if I wanted a truck, it's Raptor or nothing. I mean, that's really pretty much, uh, pretty much it at the end of the day. But if you're looking for something that's gonna be a standout, something that wasn't modified by the dealership, um, that has that extra special name and touch to it, this SCA Performance Black Widow, I think, checks off a lot of boxes. I think the best part, though, is I'm glad they went with a Silverado RST rather than just a base or a fully loaded one. Because fully loaded, now you're looking at like a $90,000, $100,000 truck. Whereas with this, seventy-two grand is still quite a bit of money, but at least you have some niceties in here, which is important at the end of the day when driving a truck like this. All right, guys, rolling away here. Let's see how... She accelerates with that Vortec V8 on throttle. I guess a zonk for me is I wish they would have done something to the exhaust to give it enough bark to match the overall appearance of this truck. Still getting that great V8 sound, but could be a little deeper, a little bit louder. Nothing obnoxious, but just a little bit more. Brakes feel good. You know, one of the best parts about this truck is that it is easy to drive. It's not floating all over the place. Um, and you have visibility. I mean, I could see Georgia from here. That's how high up I'm sitting. Um, but just very, very comfortable, the interior overall. And I do like the way they changed out the tack and the speedometer with the Black Widow uh, labeling and everything. It, it just gives it that extra touch. And that's what you're gonna be, where you're gonna be spending most of your time obviously with the truck is behind the wheels so to have that little touch it's just a little touch but goes a long way you're gonna get of course more road noise with those tires but watch this guy's gonna jam on the brakes because he's like is that a moving wall or is that a truck that's what happens with this truck you really are seen by just about everybody but very smooth very capable and you have plenty of room in the back to take whoever you need along this mountain tall vehicle kind of ride. So that is the one nice thing about the Silverados is just the amount of space you have on the interior. And this one with all the connectivity is gonna keep everybody happy at the end of the day. But that eight speed on back, drops down, back on the brakes. Quite surprising, very, very, um, confidence inspiring with the drive. I am surprised by that because sometimes when you go this high, when you're lifted in a truck, things kind of feel a little wonky, but it actually feels really good in this Black Widow. But hopefully this gave you a great overview of the SCA Black Widow and how it is different from your standard Silverado. We're gonna go ahead and get back to Dimmit Chevrolet and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another great day here at Dimmit Chevrolet. Definitely got to thank Raheel, Eli, and the rest of the crew getting us access to these custom trucks, which remember, Dimmit Chevrolet 
is an authorized dealer of these SCA performance trucks. But if you want to keep seeing these lifted beasts that have just been created out of people's imaginations, keep leaving a comment in the comment section about that. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. He actually wants to start raising a farm of Black Widows after driving around this truck. So Tom, good luck with that endeavor. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.